Good morning. Welcome to Jeffrey's Adventures. We are in Mazatlan today. Yeah, so I have a shore excursion that I did through the ship and the name of it is Hop On Hop Off Tour. Um, it's their double decker bus that allows you to sit up on the top deck. Well, it's always crowded up on the top deck, but I'll try to get up there. If not, then I'll try to get out in there eventually. That's when you get off and get back on. But I've been to Mazatlan several times and I'm going to share this experience with you and what I've done in the past. And I'll also put a link down below of uh, the panorama when we did the silver shopping um, and a restaurant that I frequent there. So um, definitely uh, watch that episode. That was really fun. And uh, so I'm going to go try some new foods and I'm going to do some more sites. So uh, this isn't my first time. I think I've been here quite a few times and uh, every time I try to do something different. So here we go. All right, guys, I'm going to go down to the um, guest services and get some smaller bar bills. Uh, I recommend getting singles, a lot of singles if you can, because what that allows you to do is to chip out uh, when you are like uh, getting on the bus or you're going to see that um, the restaurants, uh, you can use your major credit card, but they really, the servers really love cash. So bring small bills. All right. We'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys, I got everything situated right where I got all my backpack, pack, my IDs, my credit card, everything I need. I'm going to go get the gift services right now and get, like I said, some coin and break down the bigger bills. Also, um, yeah, so I had breakfast and it was delicious. Um, I was sitting with some guests, so I'll insert the footage here, but I had the uh, huevos rancheros and uh, coffee. It was delicious as always. So the main dining room is always spot on on Princess. I, I'm telling you, it's just awesome. So. But you do have to go early. I think it's from six to eight on this cruise. So if you're not out of bed early, you are not getting breakfast in the dining room. So, all right, I'll come back in just a second. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I got my change. I'm gonna go ashore. By the way, this is a spa area that you have to, you have to walk through the spa entrance to get to the, to the uh, exit of the, uh, ship which is on deck four and I'm on deck five and I'm heading to the gangway so I'll see you guys in a second all right guys now this is one of those ports where you have to take like a little buggy oh there's my uh, my bus over here I'm gonna go check out my tour hopefully get a good spot on there and uh, bring you guys along all right bye bye okay guys so I got my ticket for my wife my band that's going to let me on and off the ship or the bus. I'm going to go climb up on the second deck right now. And uh, yeah, so I see a seat up forward and uh, we'll see what's going to happen here. All right, kind of cool here. I'll show you what the bus looks like. It's called the Fun Bus. It's a double decker and they go every 45 minutes and it costs, the whole thing costs, uh, four, I want to say it was $50 and you get to go uh, to four or five different spots that are available. Hi, how are you? Sanitizer, oh, thank yeah. you. All right, see you guys in a sec. All right, I got a, I got a window seat. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is the hop off, hop on, hop off tour. And so I got a good view for y'all. We'll see what happens. Look at the ship, how gorgeous it is. Anyway, so I'll show you guys around. See you soon. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, anybody that's over six feet tall, you know how you get on a bus and or an airplane and your legs are touching the front seats. Fortunately, I'm in the very front where there's no seats because I would not be able to sit in this chair if I had to have somebody next to me. 
so just a word to the wise anybody out there that has the long leg syndrome like I do you might want to consider this as a, a deal breaker <laughs> but I did get a seat in the very front along the window and there's no seat in front of me so I got lucky but I, I'm gonna probably struggle the rest of the trip as these uh, buses fill up so just, uh, just a note, side note. The rest of y'all that don't have long leg problems, uh, you're going to be just fine. All right, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so we are at my first destination. This is the Golden Zone. Now what I want to mention here is that if you are somebody that uh, doesn't like people running up to them and offering uh, suggested sales of hats, jewelry, um, just note that you need to have some of those patience. And while you're going through this, you'll see that. <laughs> They'll interrupt me or whatever, but I'm, I'm okay with it. I just like to share that ahead. This is one of those places that you'll get that experience. So right now we're at the uh, heart of the Golden Zone and there's a resort. There's two resorts here, uh, the Marriott Resort and the Holiday Inn Resort. And those are the two um, standard uh, hotel resorts uh, that are available if you were to fly here from the United States and that's right behind me I'll show you the, the this is the Courtyard Marriott it's actually under uh, construction right now and is due to open uh, in the next year so that's what they're saying it'll be finished and completed uh, it's a beautiful area. Right behind this hotel is the ocean. And then you'll see the Holiday Inn Resort as well, right next door, which is kind of cool because it's, it's really becoming a, a city of attraction for tourism again. Uh, there was some unrest here about 10 years ago and everything really kind of got closed down from the Americans and uh, a lot of the cruise ships stopped coming to this port and it's too bad because it's probably one of the most beautiful ports of of uh, the itineraries that are on the west coast for cruise ships now i have not found a taco place but hey, what's my up? goal is to do that hey, what's this? Hey, very good you i want to show you my shop uh, fill my shop so everybody can come here come it's a, a, so on. right now i'm gonna go and I'm gonna come back this way, I okay? I fill my shop so everybody can see what I sell. Of course, that's what everybody wants. Look, I'll come look, back. Just a little bit. 
Thank you very much. I'll Probably be back. Not to rip you off. I appreciate it. <laughs> and that's what I was talking about earlier. So um, just be patient. And it's never going to end, though. And I'll tell you that up front. <laughs> so uh, being by myself, I, I'll be honest with you, uh, that's why I took the tour. Um, but this is the cleanest area for tourists and the most common and the safest area. I feel there isn't any problems any longer. Uh, so this is a great city to visit. Uh, some of the food here is um, some of my favorites. So uh, let me show you around. All right, see you guys in a couple minutes. All right, guys. All right, so we have a uh, senior frogs. Uh, looks like it's just the uh, clothing store. The uh, senior frogs that was here before is closed. I uh, want to just say that that was probably because of the, the unrest that was here. There's some history. You can Google it about what that unrest was. I'm not going to elaborate. But uh, yeah, in fact, the cruise ships completely stopped coming here for about four and a half years. Uh, that's crazy considering it's one of the biggest cruise ports of the west coast so the restaurant that i just checked out i looked at the menu and what was really kind of cool was that it had chilaquiles one of my favorite meals in mexico um i should have not eaten breakfast it's still about 10 30 in the morning right now but uh I was listening to the, waiter, the waitress, uh, she was speaking Spanish to the family that she was uh, serving and I noticed that they had uh, a recommendation and she was talking about how they make the sauce uh, from scratch and it was a red sauce. So those are the things I listen for when I'm looking for dining and experiencing things because they're using their local ingredients they're they want to sell what you know maybe mom's recipe which is makes it a unique uh, experience so you know I had some of the bed, best red sauce I've ever had here in Mexico and the tomato sauce that was on a chileriano I wish I could have that again but it was at that one particular restaurant and that's what I look for and something that's unique has a tremendous tremendous amount of flavor and experience I'm gonna say something about Mexico don't just assume that cars are gonna stop pay attention when you're going across the street because the cross rocks like in America they are absolutely not the priority <laughs> All right, so be careful. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep walking, see what I can find. This is something that is very common in Mexico. If, it, if you're paying for, if you see a sign that says uh, Daños, uh, 10 pesos, it's because they need to pay for the attendant that keeps it clean and the water. The flushing system um, there's a, it's very expensive in Mexico to have running toilets and so with that being said there is always uh, it's customary to have a charge uh, so it's generally 50 cents US uh, 10 pesos so it right now is 19 Point eight pesos to the dollar so that would be about 50 cents all right so yeah just walked down to the beach from where we were dropped off uh, pretty cool because I see a couple restaurants and uh, what a beautiful view here I'll show you And 
uh, be very careful when you're walking. A lot of potholes in the streets and the, the standard height of uh, walkways are not like they are in the US. You can have, here I'll show you. If you look right here, it can be all the way up to a foot high. And it, so when you're walking, be careful. Be, a, be understanding that this is something that you're going to uh, uh, have to pay attention to, especially if you've had a couple beers. Because uh, the last thing you want to do is fall and hurt yourself while you're in another country. All right, guys, I'm going to walk north and see what I can find. So we've seen the beach so far, not very far. So um, they did have beach rules. So it, it was a swimmable area that we just walked by. I thought that was pretty cool to know. So if you want to make a beach day out of this, you can. And uh, yeah, so how much would that cost? Let's figure that out. So the tour was $49, I believe. I'll have to double check. I'll put a link down in the uh, description below exactly what I paid for the tour. And that's it. You're, you're done. Now, if you have your own beach towel, which you can get on the uh, ship, you can just walk down two blocks and head to the beach. So there's your beach day. And your transportation is readily available until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The last shuttle from this area is at 3.30. Uh, so it gets you back to the ship by 4 to 4.30, depending on the traffic. So, all right, there's another uh, alleyway. Oh, it's nothing really open. So, but there is another alley here that allow you to get the beach access. Now, the tour guide that was on the uh, bus, she explained that a lot of the restaurants are open during the evening, more so during the day. And the reason behind that is um, uh, generally everyone likes to go out to dinner versus going out to lunch. So uh, they'll stay up late and sometimes all the way up to the morning time uh, to accommodate the guests when they come from drinking and having a good time while they're out partying. All right, so I'm walking back towards the Marriott where we started but on the opposite side and I'm going to continue uh, north and see what I find between now that that area there's a getty that separates the the um, the beach and I want to try to get on the other side and I'll take you over there and uh, so anyways I'll be right back okay so I just walked over to the main highway where we uh, turned off to and um, I'm finding that they've got everything right at your fingertips it's absolutely gorgeous day uh, the traffic is very heavy my understanding is that this week is a holiday during the month of April or Easter week a lot of businesses close and they take a week off but because we're in a tourist area um, the area is open and so I thought I'd walk down the main corridor here and see what we can find but uh, yeah you can see there's huge amount of construction which is a great indication that they are planning for the future here for resorts and and places to stay and that's a good sign okay guys so I found my my restaurant of choice uh, if you want to know anything about restaurants in any foreign city, I use TripAdvisor. Uh, it's reliable and you can use Google and a Yelp. I'm not a Yelp fan. In fact, I can't stand Yelp. I'm sorry <laughs> if I offended you, but that's the reality. But TripAdvisor seems to be the, the most reliable for me, especially in a foreign country. Not necessarily in the United States. So this restaurant that I'm about to go to is has a very good rating. And I just took a look at the menu and I thought, uh, yeah, this is a great fit. So why not? Let's go see. All right. Rico's Cafe. And it's right off the highway. 
right in the middle of all of the uh, re resorts nearby. I walked north about five and a half, six blocks. Um, it was very, uh, I want to use the right words, hazardous. <laughs> Be careful when you're walking on the streets, as I mentioned before, all the different ways. There's no flat surfaces. So if you have troubles walking, I highly recommend just taking a cab. So upon my arrival here, I decided that I'm going to start with some coffee. And I got a, I got a menu, and it's in English, but the, the waiter only speaks Spanish. So I'm going to get by with my Spanish English that I know. Everything is... Um, this is more of a cafe, and that's what I wanted. I, I, I wanted that experience, um, and I'm hoping for something unique. Um, because as I'm seeing on the menu, it looks very elegant and very delicious. So I'm going to read the whole menu, and I'll get back to you guys in just a second for this experience. Um, yeah, how cool, huh? I'm just being somewhere, just sitting just nowhere, no plans in a day to just come here and sit down and enjoy the way it's meant to be. I mean, be a tourist. If you feel intimidated by this, don't. Just get into the middle of wherever you're at and just where you start to see something that looks familiar to you or something that you might like. You, you can sense those things when you approach a restaurant or maybe a, um, a bar. Uh, just, you know, feel it out. Sit down. You can tell, I can tell the people that are around me are just like me. And uh, yeah, adventure off. It's worth it. All right, guys. So I ordered a cup of coffee. And so I'm going to try to figure out this menu. Even though the name of the dish is in English. Everything below the description is in Spanish. Wow, beautiful cup of coffee. Look at that, beautiful. That's a gorgeous cup. Thank you very much. Now that's a cup of coffee. So that's a large cup of coffee. I was offered a small or large. And the size of this cup is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna tell you, this, this is piping hot. It's gorgeous. All right, so far so good. That's exciting. All right, I'll be right back. I am going to try the coffee. Look at the size of this cup. It's so huge. Oh, it smells, it smells amazing. I love my coffee, you guys. Let's see. Oh, it's delicious. Wow. Excellent coffee. Oh, fantastic. What a find. You know, I'm telling you, anytime you do TripAdvisor, you're not, I'm, I'm, especially when you're in a foreign country. Okay, I've looked over the menu. This is a cafe menu. I did look, I turned it over, and it's in English, so I got all the English and the descriptions below. Um, Although I cannot pronounce the name of the burrito I'm going to have, so I'm not going to butcher it. But uh, I, it has um, egg, a mix of cheese, um, manchaca, and or chorizo. And uh, I'm a I love chorizo, so that just sounds delicious. I'm going to ask for a side of avocado as well, and. Yeah, let's see what happens. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm, yes, I am having another breakfast. <laughs> but that's that's what the experience is all about, right? Just go somewhere, try it. This is what adventuring is all about, guys. All right, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm gonna show my waiter what I'm gonna have, and uh, I'll bring you back when the food gets here. All right, bye bye. Just just brought my uh, my meal. And, uh, oh, this smell, it smells so delicious. So this is the, the breakfast burrito. And I'm gonna just say this much. Look at these chips. Oh, they're handmade, they're freshly made potato chips. 
I got some sliced avocado along with this wonderful looking burrito and fresh salsa is delivered on the side with some pico de gallo and uh, yeah so let me organize the avocado and the salsa and I'll give it a whirl. I ordered it with the Mancheco, which uh, um, she recommended. Um, the, there was another option to have it with uh, chorizo, which is my favorite, but she recommended this, so I'm giving that a whirl. All right, let me get this organized and I'll come right back, okay? I prepared my first bite with uh, some avocado and the fresh salsa that's available. So let's give this a whirl, see how it turns out. Okay, first of all, it's it's piping hot. That's always my favorite part, is to know that it's hot and fresh. All right, here we go. Oh my. Oh my. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. I the, the, the flavor is so powerful. It comes out with some pepper. I mean, literally, like, it's a pepper flavor that you get right off the bat. And the meat is so, I don't know, it's like smoky. <laughs> the cheese, you can just tell um, they care. They have a lot of passion in this food. Wow, absolutely absolutely impressed all right i'm gonna try these chips these house made chips look at those can you see that oh cool i'm, I'm beginning to think they're a sweet potato let me see yeah that's what they are how oh, cool oh yeah mm, that's really good I love finding unique places. Man. Mmm. Man, that has some flavor. Uh, and I, I want you to know I'm having this over chilaquiles because they had it here and it was a special for today. <laughs> so I'm happy with my choice. I'm going to eat this and I'll come back and see you guys in a minute. So I asked what the meat was. I was, it, it, and it, it tasted like it was shredded beef, and it turns out that it is, and it's actually a shredded beef version of the chorizo, and it's got that that oil. I'll show you that chorizo has that at the bottom of the uh, that's coming out of the side here. Let me give you the juice that it, you can see it kind of dripping out for the burrito, and that. It's so moist. I'm telling you, and this cheese, it, it's um, it's not cotilla, but it's got the consistency of it. And they, they don't say on the menu what it is, so. Kind of reminds me of a real mild jack cheese. Or, yeah, mild jack cheese, yeah. All right, I'm gonna put some more avocado in this next bite. And I'll come back after my meal. All right, guys, see you soon. I'm telling you right now, this is the way to travel, even if you go on a cruise. I mean, you don't have to take a tour that everything is planned. You just do what you want to do, and that's what the opportunity was. I utilized their the guided tour to take my own tour, so I wanted to show that side of taking advantage of a provided trip that allowed you to expand on your own. So that's why I would use the hop on, hop off bus system is to do things like I'm doing right now. The culture, the people, I mean, everything around me is local. Uh, there's, there's nobody on the cruise ship in this place and the waiter is so friendly and it's just 
it's different. It's not it's not like traveling on a cruise ship. It's like being at a resort, but you get to experience for a day. Yeah, I'm wearing my lanyard and that's fine, but if I didn't have it on, it wouldn't matter. I'm telling you, this is a, a great opportunity for people to expand what they're used to. And that's why I'm doing this for you. It's, it's wonderful. And the service here has been phenomenal. And by the way, <coughs> the salsa was so delicious. Um, my eyes are still watering. I didn't care, though. It was a little spicy, um, but it had so much flavor. Kind of like in the tour we did yesterday where they fire roasted the tomatoes it was the same thing and it was so delicious they just had the right amount of seasoning and it was just delicious so if you ever come to Mazatlan just try something new that's all I can say I'll link a description below of where I'm at and uh, get here first thing in the morning um, because it's it's awesome all right we'll see you guys I'm gonna go I'm gonna pay the bill and then I'm going to walk back to um, the drop-off uh, spot to pick up the next leg of the uh, tour and uh, head back to the ship. And we'll see you guys soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye. And uh, I did the conversion. Everything was in pesos. So today, the going rate is 18 pesos to the dollar. And so what I did is I figured out that total. I took the total on the bill here and it was 188 pesos and stop again thank you gracias and thank you very much for the toothpick and so I divided that into the 188 pesos to the uh, 18 pesos per dollar and I came up with about 1050 and uh, of course I left a tip as well but um, you can always ask or Google your rate ratio. Now, there it, it is true that in Mexico that different cities have a different rate because of the exchange rate at their bank. So if somebody says to you that it's 18 and then you go across the street and it's 19, it's because that's what their bank is charging them for the exchange. It's not so that they're trying to steal from you at a legitimate place so um, that's something I learned when I traveled in Cancun uh, because I, I kept wondering why I kept getting these different rates so I, I really I asked a local so why is it that I buy an item here and then I go across the street and it's a different rate and so they explained to me that that's the real reason and um, that makes sense to me because if you go to a bank, it's just like an ATM fee. It just depends on your bank. You know, like I have USAA as my bank, and I go to an ATM, and I get a 100% rebate off of my withdrawals, no matter where I'm at in the world. But if I use my uh, Discover card or my my uh, other bank that I have locally, which is uh, a credit union, they don't have those rebates, so I will pay a premium for withdrawing currency from a foreign country and also uh, the fee for the withdrawal. So it's always a good idea to get, when you travel, to get a bank that has free currency exchange because you're going to get your value of your money wherever you travel. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're a veteran, uh, by the way, thank you for serving. Uh, then you can utilize uh, USAA, but you can do a lot of Google searches at find those banks that have those um, perks with their accounts, and it's worth it for the travel. Um, all right, that's my tip of the day. I'll I'm gonna get out of here, get my backpack back together. Uh, I caught up on all the news, everything at home, and also the uh, travel business to make sure everybody's happy. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go walk back to the uh, pickup point, and I'll bring you guys along. See you soon. All right, guys, I'm on my way back to the bus. It's about five, five big city blocks. 
take about 10, 15 minute walk. All right, and then I'll uh, get back with you soon. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. You know, if you are, um, you might want to subscribe. Also, all to all the new subscribers, by the way, um, we had over 100 new subscribers this last month, and I want to welcome you all to the channel. I have several trips planned for the next few months, and those will all be part of the Jeffrey's Adventures going forward. As I get better at my vlogging, so will the destinations. And uh, my next destination is going to be Hawaii. And uh, we're going to be in Honolulu. And I am going to do the blowhole tour and I'm going to a coffee plantation. I love coffee if you don't know that by now. So uh, I thought it was very uh, suiting to, to, to include that in this next tour. So, so that's coming up in about three weeks time. And then after that is Alaska. So yeah, a lot of travel plans. And uh, yes, I bring friends. Uh, some of you have actually asked me, where's Cheryl? <laughs> so my wife, Cheryl, is hi honey <laughs> is in the medical field and she just signed on to a new company and so her next year is going to be pretty tight on uh, her schedule so um, and she's a perfectionist so she wants to uh, be established in her new facility she's in now so she's um, gonna take two trips with me this this year and then next year we already have one plan and um, she'll go along with that so what I've been doing is I'll bring my my mom and or my my kids uh, as a travel agent I generally speaking um, I can bring a family member um, under my agent rates so that's why it's a family member and I follow the rules so <laughs> speaking of which if you ever see something I'm doing and you want to experience it yourself you're more than welcome to give me a call I'll leave you a link down below and I'd be happy to help you with your travel needs I do specialize in cruises and uh, land-based Hawaii trips Disney uh, and, you know, I, I can do other things, but I want to give you the honest knowledge that I have. Um, I've cruised on every cruise line, um, the major ones, um, several times. And my favorite, I don't have a favorite. I love them all. And I'd be happy to help you guys. So, yeah, anytime. All right, I'm going back to the bus. I'll see you guys in a second.